Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joe from Fandroid. The first week of July is in the books, which means it's time for five more apps and games for you to check out this week. Let's get started. If you listen to music when you go to sleep, you probably use a sleep timer, which will shut off the music after a certain amount of time so that your music doesn't play all night. You can set it for 15 minutes and the music will stop playing at 15 minutes. The problem with that is, if it's in the, right in the middle of a song, your music's just gonna abruptly stop right there, and that could wake you up. Advanced Sleep Timer is an app that does this in a more smart way. You set a specific amount of songs, and it will stop after that many songs have played. It works with apps like Spotify, Google Play Music, and a lot of other popular apps. So all you do, you use a plus or minus here, that's through five songs, you hit start, Start playing music from whatever app you're using, and it will automatically stop after that many songs have played. So it's gonna naturally let the music stop instead of abruptly cutting it off right in the middle. If you listen to music a lot when you go to sleep, this is an app that you should definitely check out. It's called Advanced Sleep Timer. So gifts are really popular nowadays, sending them on Twitter and Messenger apps. Uh, a lot of times a gift can say it better than words. But gifts don't have sound. There are videos, but if you want to send just a short snippet of something, Shabam is an app that lets you add sound to gifts. So you open up the app and you can search for it. Here's the trending tab. There's editors picks, categories, and then you can sign in and save stuff. So we'll just find a gift here. This is a, a Katy Perry gift. Uh, and it plays the GIF, and then when you want to record sound, you just hit this button right here. It shows you the GIF, you can play sound with it, and now it plays my audio over the GIF, and then I can save it and send it to places like that. So if you want to add some fun little sounds to your GIFs, uh, you want to do your own little narration for GIFs or whatever, this is a cool app, it's called Shabam. If you're a diehard Android enthusiast, you know that a good change log is important. And this app called Changes is a place where you can see all the change logs for all of your apps. So you install the app and it's gonna get all of your apps that are installed on your phone. So it's organizing these apps by when they were installed slash updated. So here are a few apps that I installed today, so it's posting them here. But if I can scroll down two days ago, Pandora, uh, Slack, and all these apps were updated. Uh, three days ago were a few apps here. Uh, and then it shows a little preview of the change log where I can go right into it, read the full change log. And I just installed this so it's only showing one change log, but as more change logs come in for these apps, uh, it's gonna add those two here. So then I can see a timeline. You can also change the view. So maybe I don't wanna see the change log, I just wanna see a list. Then I can go in and look at them like that. You can also change the theme uh, to night mode. So if you like change logs, you know, you're really interested in what apps are getting new features and stuff like that, Changes is a nice handy app to have. Speed is a simple, fast-paced card game that a lot of people have probably played, but Speed West has a cool twist on that game. So it's like the typical game where you have to put your cards down in order. So here's uh, the game, he's putting cards on the top. I can put a queen on top of a king, and then I tap over here to get a new card. And the name of the game is to get through all your cards before your opponent. So I have 16, he has 16 left. Now I can do the seven on here. And now when there's no moves, it will uh, give you new cards on the top like this. Now you see it right there. That was when two cards of the same pop up, uh, it's a draw and a gun popped up. Whoever taps that the fastest gets to shoot the opponent and then all the cards go to their side. So he was faster than me, now I have 23 cards, which is gonna be hard for me to get through. So my opponent won the first one there and this is the first one to win two games wins. But that's just the quick matchup. You can also go to the map. And this is kind of like a story mode. You start in the bottom here, and then you work your way up through the map, uh, playing different people, and there's different circumstances in some of these matches, uh, and that's how you do that. You can also do two-player, which you can have put this on a table somewhere. When your friends sit on one side of the phone, you sit on the other side of the phone, and you play like a traditional speed game. So if you like cards, you like speed, uh, this is a really fun game. It's pretty addictive, I have to say. I've been playing it quite a bit. Uh, check out Speed West. Bouncy Hoops is an arcade style basketball game. It's all about bouncing balls into a hoop. 
So what you're gonna do here is every time you tap the screen, the ball bounces up in the air and it automatically moves towards the hoop. And your goal is to just get the ball in the hoop. Every time you do, more time is added to the clock as you can see on the top. And uh, the time runs down, so if you don't get shots in a row there, uh, I just ran out of time and I only got three baskets. That's the arcade mode. You just try to see how many baskets you can get. And you can get like power-ups if you get a bunch in a row and swishes and stuff like that. Uh, there's also a time mode and this you get a minute and you just see how many shots you can make uh, in that minute same premise you just tap the screen you can collect coins and stuff as you're seeing and those will add time the hoop moves levels so here it's really high uh, and the next one is going to be low when the ball bounces off the screen it just comes back on the other side and you can get it started from there so it's just a simple bouncing ball arcade game. My best score for the time mode is 94. Uh, you can also uh, unlock different backgrounds and you can unlock different balls as well. And that's called Bouncy Hoops, an addictive basketball game. So that's our list for this week. Hopefully you guys found some of these apps useful and these games fun. Uh, if you play any of these games, leave your high score below and let me know. In the meantime, you can check out this playlist for many more apps and games and subscribe to the FanDroid channel for more videos like this. We'll see you next time.